Adaptive Airborne Enterprise, or A2E, is essentially divorcing ourselves from this concept of one crew controlling one aircraft, and we're moving towards a crew or a single operator controlling multiple aircraft. The strategic impact is absolutely tremendous. When we look at what we're able to provide now and where this concept has potential to go, we're really interested in making complex problem sets for our adversaries. So this is a phased approach. So we've broken it down into five phases. Demonstration number one was targeting that multiple MQ-9 control. How that looks to the operator is having a common control interface, and it's what the operator has at their disposal to retask an airplane, to climb and descend, to move the payloads. As we take it to the multiple small UAS control, we will continue to build upon that base system and then tie in more platforms, not only MQ-9, but small UAS, and then tying it into uh, manned and unmanned platforms. Our range, our airspace, our access, we have all of the MQ-9s for AFSOC here at Canon, but I think the, the people are definitely a big part of it as well. Uh, we, we're used to running with new projects, with innovative ideas, uh, so we have a lot of a wealth of experience between all of the MQ-9 squadrons.